Hi, VancouverWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, March 15th. Yesterday's coastal storm is now over the state of Maine. In its wake, a frigid air mass. That's really a, one of the main stories about this. Not only the heavy snow that fell in parts of the northeast U.S. over the last 24 to 48 hours or so, but the very cold air mass for this time of the year. High temperatures right now in Philadelphia, for example, are around 52, 53 degrees. It will be more than 20 degrees below normal, not even making the 30 degree mark in the Philadelphia metro region. Cold air extends all the way down into the deep south. Overnight lows in the 40s, way down into the uh, central part of Florida. Freeze warning all the way down into the uh, northern Gulf of Mexico region. Again, very cold air in the wake of yesterday's cold storm, uh, coastal storm. And in addition, very strong winds will continue, perhaps gusting up to 40 to 50 miles per hour in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City uh, throughout the day today out of the northwest. Unfortunately, that will continue the possibility of some power outages with this extended period of very strong wind gusts, and they will continue all day today, can have some more breakage of tree limbs. Also wanted to point out here, notice radar echoes are starting to uh, show some snow shower activity over the Great Lakes, just south and east of the Great Lakes. This area will expand over the next few hours. I expect some snow showers to make it across the mountains into the I-95 corridor, perhaps even all the way down into the D.C. metro region during the midday and afternoon hours, and there can be some isolated snow squalls, which could produce a quick inch or two. Roads could quickly deteriorate, and visibility would drop quickly as well with any snow squall during the midday and afternoon hours. So we'll monitor closely the radar over the next few hours. Well, let's take a look at a few forecast maps from last night's Zero Z GFS model run. We have an upper level low sitting and spinning over the northeast U.S. seen right here. Very vigorous upper level low, deep upper level trough, and that will set off some sh snow shower activity even south and east of the Appalachian Mountains, all the way into the I-95 car, perhaps all the way down to D.C., and there can be an isolated uh, snow squall, again, which could produce a quick, a small accumulation. So a very deep upper level low still sitting and spinning over the northeast U.S. Now here's the forecast map for this evening, Wednesday evening. That upper level low starts to edge ever so slightly to the north and east, starting to pull out. And notice some ridging here behind it. And just uh, beyond that, a vigorous looking upper level trough. And this is our next system, a clipper system that could come and produce some frozen precipitation Friday night into early Saturday morning. Let's now jump ahead another 12 hours. And here's the forecast map for tomorrow morning at 500 millibars, all using last night's Zero Z GFS model run. The upper level low only slowly pushing to the north and east. And now this wave up, up over south central Canada is starting to edge closer. And again, that will eventually drop to the south and east, become a clipper system for the Mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S., Friday night into early Saturday. And finally, as far as 500 millibars is concerned, here we go. The forecast map for tomorrow evening, Thursday evening, upper level low starting to open up a little bit, pull to the north and east, and here we go. Another wave of energy uh, now ready to drop into the north central part of the U.S., and again, this will drop to the south and east, become a clipper-type system for us, and it can produce some frozen precipitation, snow or sleet, in some parts of the Mid-Atlantic region Friday night into early Saturday. Well, let's quickly walk through the surface forecast maps from last night's Zero Z GFS model run. This is for right now, early today, Wednesday morning, that low sitting over uh, Maine, and some light precipitation right now over the uh, uh, eastern Great Lakes just downstream, nothing in the I-95 corridor, but let's now jump ahead 12 hours to this evening. And here we go, by this evening, GFS is putting out some precipitation all the way down right into the uh, uh, D.C. metro region. All this would be in the form of snow shower activity, in the form of snow, snow showers, maybe even an isolated snow squall or two, storm only slowly pulling away because that deep upper lo level low is really cut, kind of cut off and just sitting and spinning over the northeastern U.S.
Well, let's now jump ahead to tomorrow morning. Less of a threat tomorrow for snow shower activity. Won't guarantee we'll be snow shower free, but uh, certainly less of a threat tomorrow. And the winds will be a little bit less intense than they will be today. Again, could gust up to 40 or 50 miles per hour in the I-95 car. Notice upstream, nice little low pressure area here over south central Canada. Let's now jump ahead 12 hours to Thursday evening. And here we go by tomorrow evening. Still very cold for this time of the year in the northeast U.S. And our next system starting to show up here in south central Canada. This is a clipper. It'll drop to the south and east and throw potentially some more frozen precipitation our way Friday night into early Saturday. Looking ahead, still certainly more cold air outbreaks destined for the northeast U.S. and some potential th snow threats over the next week to 10 days or so. Winter is not over yet. That's it for now. For VencorWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Orion.